When people talk about strategic bombers, always think of those wingspan of the sky, the range of tens of thousands of kilometers of the beast in the air. But have you ever thought of a fighter aircraft that not much bigger than the aircraft, but can be among the strategic bomber of the Hall of Fame? This seemingly contradictory proposition is the French Mirage IV strategic bomber left the world a unique answer. As the only supersonic strategic bomber in Europe during the Cold War, it is 33 tons of pocket body carrying the French nuclear ambitions in the US and Soviet nuclear hegemony in the cracks to open up a small against the big way of survival. This is jokingly called air dagger weapon, not only rewrite the definition of strategic bomber, more in the history of aviation, engraved to belong to the medium nuclear countries of survival wisdom. In 1956, France launched its own nuclear deterrent program. When faced with a desperate plight, aero engine technology lagged behind the United Kingdom and the United States for two decades. Large aircraft design experience is almost blank. The financial budget is only equivalent to a fraction of the United States B-52 project. Against this backdrop, Dassault's designer Marcel Dassault made a bold decision to enlarge the Mirage II fighter jet by 1.7 times to create a twin-engine delta-wing nuclear strike platform. This program, ridiculed by outsiders as a fighter in a vest, was in fact a subtle political and technical balancing act. By inheriting the proven supersonic aerodynamic layout of the Mirage III, France has avoided the risk of developing a completely new configuration, while at the same time developing a nuclear deterrent capability within five years. But the cost of compromise is equally staggering. The two out of 9K turbojet engines have a total thrust of only 13.7 tons, with a thrust-to-weight ratio as low as 0.48, resulting in a climb rate of only 43 meters per second, which is less than one-fifth that of the F-4 fighter at the same time. In order to extend the 3,700 kilometers range to cover targets in the western part of the Soviet Union, the designers stuffed 80% of the fuselage space with 8 tons of fuel, and even pioneered the rocket-assisted takeoff technology, when carrying 50,000 tons of and 22 nuclear bombs. Four separate 841 rockets are needed to provide additional thrust, which is a thirst-quenching, design that puts the fuselage structure under extreme stress. This, thirst-quenching, design puts the airframe under extreme stress. Behind this extreme design is a unique French understanding of the logic of nuclear deterrence. The Mirage IV, which entered service in 1964, faced the Soviet Union's deployment of 3,000 MiG-21S and 200 SA-2 anti-aircraft missile battalions in Eastern Europe. French staff for its tailor-made, Atlantic dance, raid route, take off from the western airbase in Kazo, the first northwest around the Norwegian Sea, after two KC-135F are refueling tankers to replenish, borrowed Swedish airspace to break into the Baltic Sea. This 4,000-kilometer long circuitous path seems to expose the Mirage range shortcomings, but hidden geopolitical calculations, even if the mission fails to be shot down. Crashed in Sweden or Norway's territory of the wreckage can also be involved in the Nordic countries in a nuclear conflict so as to expand the deterrence of the cascade effect. When approaching St. Petersburg, Mirage will be 1.7 Mach close to the ground flight, on board Doppler radar and 60 kilometers from the target to lock the orientation. The pilot pulls up to drop the bomb in the moment. The backseat weapons officer needs to complete from the deactivation of the safety to set the altitude of the detonation of the whole set of operations. The whole process does not exceed 12 seconds. This dance on the tip of the knife, so that each Mirage are equipped with a two-person elite crew. They not only have to master the high-flying skills, but also need to receive special training in the operation of nuclear weapons. The French Air Force archives show that in 1968, only 28 pilots have been certified to qualify for nuclear strikes. With the Soviet Union's deployment of MiG-25 interceptors and S-300 air defense systems in the 1970s, the Mirage IV's probability of survival plummeted from an initial 30% to less than 5%. France's Phoenix program, launched in 1979, equipped it with the SMP air-launched nuclear missiles, an innovation that revolutionized the nuclear strike paradigm. Instead of risking a surprise attack on a target, the bomber could launch its Mach 3 warheads from 300 kilometers away, raising the crew's survival rate to 50%. However, the cost of this technological breakthrough is equally heavy. The yield of an 52 tactical nuclear bombs has been reduced from 150,000 tons to 300,000 tons, a reversal of range and power, which precisely reflects the essence of the French doctrine of limited nuclear deterrence. This strategic thinking of quality for quantity was verified in the 1983 NATO Good Shooter exercise. A Mirage IV broke through the simulated Warsaw Pact air defense network, 
and dropped training bombs on targets in Poland at a predetermined time, forcing the Soviet forces in Europe to enter a level 3 state of readiness. The Mirage IV program unexpectedly became the catalyst for the rebirth of the French aviation industry. In order to overcome this impossible task, the country's 134 military enterprises, for the first time to realize the depth of integration, to lose factory with CNC machine tools to process the longest overall fuel tank compartment in Europe at the time. Leclerc's at forging plant to develop a rocket can withstand the impact of the impact of the landing gear. St. Croix Electronic Laboratories to create the first with the ability to track the terrain of the airborne radar. This mobilization of the whole industry chain not only gave birth to the Mirage 2000, but also laid the foundation for the Rafale's design Diana, which is both nuclear and military. When the first dreadnought class nuclear submarine was commissioned in 1985, 75% of its localization rate came from the technical reserves accumulated during the Mirage IV era. Even seemingly failed attempts bore unexpected fruit to compensate for the lack of aerial refueling capabilities. France converted 12 kilobytes 50 refueling planes into electronic warfare training platforms, and this experience directly led to the development of the Spectrum electronic countermeasure system in the future. The operational value of this pocket-sized strategic bomber, was shown in its last light in the 1991 Gulf War. Although the nuclear strike version was retired in 1988, its modified Mirage IVP reconnaissance aircraft flew 78 high-risk reconnaissance missions during Operation Desert Storm. Thanks to its Mach 2.2 high-speed performance, a Mirage P, numbered Blackbird 07, has set a record of consecutively crossing three Iraqi air defense zones and its photographs of the Tawakana Republican Guard positions provided key information for the multinational forces left hook operation. This legend of the old soldier who never dies reached its peak in 1999 during the Kosovo War. Major Pierre Leclerc, then 38 years old, flew a reconnaissance Mirage X in pursuit of a MiG-29 on a reconnaissance mission to Pristina Airport and returned to the airfield with 37 bullet wounds on his fuselage but still landed safely, an operation that NATO Allied Command later dubbed the last night's ride of the 20th century. When the last Mirage IV was retired in 2005, France had completed its nuclear transition from air-based priority to sea-based dominance, but its design philosophy is still evolving. The Mirage 2000 and inherited the low, low, low tactics, a SMP of missiles to expand to 500 kilometers range, and even the Rafale fighter aircraft, a dual core capability configuration. Are this smallest strategic bomber sowing the seeds? More historical significance is that when the 21st century hypersonic weapons era, when the Mirage, high-speed surprise defense, plus long-range missiles, combination, is stealth drones carrying hypersonic weapons in the form of rebirth? 2021 France announced the future air combat system, the unmanned wingman, carrying as four ing missiles to carry out the first wave of the strike of the concept and the mirage the year of the tactical logic of the lightning raid is the same the same tactical logic was applied to the mirage ivs lightning raid looking back on this aviation epic the value of the mirage iv has long exceeded the weapon itself it uses 33 tons of light body to prove the essence of the strategic bomber is not in the size of the body but in the ability to accurately project destructive power to the opponent's most vulnerable nerve center. When the French, Rafale, fighters mounted a SMP of missiles appear in Eastern Europe in 2022, the silhouette of the Delta Wing across the sky still tells how a medium nuclear power, in the gap between the superpowers, with wisdom and courage to write their own strategic saga. Translated with Deeple.com, free version.